Now, yesterday we reported from Iraq on the pullout of the last Scottish troops serving in the southern city of Basra. So, what kind of country are they leaving behind? Well, let's cross there now and speak to our reporter, Cameron Buttle. Cameron. Thousands of Scottish soldiers, sailors and airmen have served here in the past six years. Iraq is a very different place now. Security is improving. I've been spending some time with a Scot who's been training the Iraqi army and police so they can provide their own security. This is the sharp end of Operation Dagger. Pencils bought by primary school kids in Elgin, handed out in the slum areas of southern Iraq. The aims of Op Dagger are much less dramatic than the name suggests build up community cooperation and that community will help protect you. But this hearts and minds approach is only possible because of this. Not British, not American, but Iraqis providing their own security. And how often do you sit on the radios? Is it for eight hours or for 12 hours? Corporal Chris Bonner is a signals expert on his second tour of Iraq. His first was spent fighting militias, this one is training Iraqis. I didn't know what to expect, to tell you the truth. It was a bit, not daunting, but it was a bit something I've never done before, so I thought, well, we'll see what happens. I think a lot of people get the, the impression that Iraqis are a backward country, but actually a lot of them are very, very intelligent people. There are still mine strikes here and roadside bombs, but nothing near the scale of previous years. We're leaving behind a, a, good, a, good, a good city, really, which is, isn't in flames, it's, you know, it's doing really well. There's no fighting anymore. Um, the election is taking place in January. They were safe and secure, but went without incident. So obviously then, we, we know that we've, we've came here, we've done the job, we're, we're pretty pleased. So what kind of Iraq are the Scottish troops leaving behind? This was once a no-go area for any of the coalition forces. A year ago, an Iraqi army operation cleared the entire area of militia forces. But what's vital now is jobs and investment. Otherwise, this relative peace and security could disappear. You need uh, young men to be in employment. Um, so they don't drift back to the militia? So there is no temptation to drift back if such a scenario were to present itself. Um, that is why we have worked very hard to, uh, to get the message out that Basra is open for business. The British are pulling out. This memorial will be dismantled, plaque by plaque, and brought home too. But after six years of fighting, lives lost and lives ruined, the peace of Basra is still a fragile one. 179 British military personnel have lost their lives in Iraq. 19 of them have been Scots. The rest of the British forces leave Iraq in the early summer. Thank you very much, Cameron Buttle there in Basler. Now let's get tonight's sports news and it's over to Doogie. Just, just call us. Right. Will you stay? Yeah, just call us if she does all wrong.